To incorporate generative AI in ID processes, we have a lot of reasons why we want to do this. There's a lot of challenges in ID that are crises now, like the antimicrobial resistance. There's a lot of shortage in the ID staff as well, in the ways we're trying to handle different um, tasks that frequently are repetitive, that potential for AI can be there for automation and support and augmentation. In today's day and age in medicine, there's just so much for us to do as clinicians, as pharmacists, as researchers. And you know, again, there just isn't enough time in the day. So what these agents can do is automate a lot of the tasks that we do, you know, in our offices or while we're on the wards for monitoring like a patient's, um, you know, therapy when they're on aminoglycosides or something that requires like renal function monitoring. We can have like an AI agentic agent essentially look to see the patient's like renal function. It can look up the guideline or recommendation put it into a program that will help calculate how we should dose the next um, dose essentially, and then provide the output for the doctor to make a change. Nobody else knows about our workflows more than us. And nobody else knows about our vulnerable populations and the ethical considerations that needs to be there while these tools are mature more than us. Who knows how to better develop these tools than the people who are doing it every day, multiple times a day. And so again, it's kind of offloading that extra administrative burden for it so that we can focus more on the complicated cases or the ones that require our attention and not the ones that are more routine. The thought process behind the workshop today was to allow them to learn by doing. That way they can see what's possible. They can see what the tools can really do. So when they go back, they can look at the repetitive workflows and they can make decisions and support influence the decisions that are being made in their health systems about automating workflows. So all about how we're asking the questions and structuring the input to the LLM or, you know, agentic agents um, and how we can get better outputs. There is a lot of potential there with AI and automation and anything that's searchable, repetitive, Anything that takes a lot of my time that I can give back the time to my patients to listen more, to provide humanizing care. They can think about these tasks and start having the conversation. How can we automate these tasks in our work? This workshop really just kind of scratches the surface of what are the possibilities, but also what are other you know, subspecialties doing? And really it's all about having the background and foundation so that we can go to our organizations and committees and say, hey, we're part of infectious disease we wear so many hats in the hospital and being an advocate for infectious diseases um, so that you know they can start building tools with us um, that can again improve like hospital efficiency and ultimately patient outcomes.